FDA expanded the emergency use authorization for all adults over 50 to get another COVID booster shot. That means both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines will be available four months after they had their first booster. Uh, that would be right now for a lot of people. The FDA had previously allowed additional shots for anyone 12 years or older with health complications. Joining us right now to talk more about it again this afternoon, and we always appreciate seeing him in his time, Dr. Ulysses Wu, the chief epidemiologist at Hartford Healthcare. Dr. Wu, good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, what does this mean exactly? Because I, I had heard from a couple people today who were over 50 who said, do I go now and, and get another shot right away? Is that what they're telling people to do? Well, they're saying it's, it's a couple things that are factoring uh, into this at this point. So we have a variance uh, with Omicron that may be uh, causing an increase in illness, not a surge or the spike that we normally would see, but would be causing an increase in illness. And then you take that in conjunction with uh, if somebody who got their booster, or their last booster or their last vaccination several months ago, you take that in conjunction with waning immunity. And then the third factor that you take into account is are you somebody that is at risk? Do you have a comorbid medical condition that could put you at complications for if you got COVID? So you take those three things in totality, and then that helps you make you decide whether or not you actually need the booster. But for those who may not even be, uh, who may not even need the booster, it is also saying, yes, you have had your booster uh, several months ago, you can still go out even if you don't have those comorbid medical conditions as long as you're of the appropriate age. It's interesting. Is the timing good right now in the sense that, you know, as we look ahead to the fall past the summertime and this idea that we all could need another shot, if people are OK and they feel OK right now, should they wait or just like you said, just kind of weigh your options and, and make your decision? Well, I think they're going to have to definitely weigh their options. Um, uh, it, it's there's probably very little downside to getting the to getting another booster but yes you are correct we may need another one certainly in the fall and something to take into account because we have to remember that we certainly don't want you to get covid but if you do get covid we don't want you to spread it to somebody else and so for those of you who may be taking care of somebody else who may be at an immunocompromised state it may make sense to do that to form that protective bubble around you to protect those around you I think we're over 3% today here in Connecticut with our positivity rate. And when you see what's happening in other countries again, uh, you know, these mass lockdowns in China and other countries seeing in, in dramatic increases, are you concerned about where we could potentially be heading with this over the next few months? I'm always concerned where we can certainly head with this, but uh, I'm not as concerned with this as we were, say, with Omicron or with Delta at this point. What's happening in China, they're having massive lockdowns because they really go for a zero case policy. Um, uh, what happened in the UK is very different from here. And here, we do have a nice mix of people who are vaccinated, people who are boosted, people who have gotten natural infection. The weather is certainly getting nicer. Uh, masking mandates, even from a federal stand standpoint, were all relaxed at the same time, but at the state and local levels were relaxed at different times. So all of these factors, I don't think uh, is going to equal a big surge, but I do think cases are going to increase and people should take caution. All right, and get that booster for sure if, if you feel it's appropriate. Dr. Ulysses Wu, good to see you again from Hartford Healthcare. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me.